If you're having trouble getting yourself to do what you need to do, like cold calling, if you're having trouble with feelings of like, I'm not good enough, I'm not capable. <laughs> hey, some of you yesterday saw this closet and was like, Aaron, why do you have four shirts? This is Mango's room. Mango has his own bedroom and actually it's so cute because Mango goes in here to sleep. It's really cute. That's actually, that's actually his bed. Anyway, if you've ever struggled with like avoidance of cold calling or avoidance of doing something or procrastinating or just, just talking yourself out of doing cold calling or talking yourself out of calling that price listing because well, maybe you don't think you're deserving of it, or maybe you believe you're not capable of it. Maybe you've talked yourself out of doing something. Maybe you didn't go on an appointment because eh, for some reason you just didn't go. Well, that's internal conflict and resistance. And it's not because you're like shy or nervous or an introvert, or you just like don't know enough so you don't do it. No, no, no. That avoidance behavior is a surface level symptom of a limiting belief internally. In the back of your head, the way you see yourself, the way you think others perceive you, the way you think the world works, you have these beliefs of I'm not good enough. I'm not capable. It's not going to work out. I'm not deserving of success. I have a fear of failure. I I'm afraid of embarrassment. I'm afraid of judgment. I'm afraid of success. If you have these beliefs, you are always going to create these kinds of outcomes where you're kind of talking yourself out of doing something or you're kind of like on and off. You're just inconsistent. So you're just going to go clean your bedroom for an hour. You're going to go run errands instead of doing what you're supposed to do. And this behavior never stops until that belief inside your unconscious is resolved because of course you're not doing what you need to do. Of course, you're not doing that difficult thing like cold calling if you believe it's not going to work out. Of course, you're not going to want to call that million dollar listing if you don't think you're capable of doing it. Obviously, the natural thing for you is to quit or do something else or procrastinate when you have a fear about the outcome, but you're not aware of these beliefs. So you're like, oh no, like for some reason I'm being lazy or I'm procrastinating. No, no, no. These are just surface level symptoms of your limiting belief. And it probably sh appears in other aspects of your life too. So if you know, I'm certified to help people through these things. In fact, like I've done it for myself. I've done it for my agents. Like Shova, who's a killer agent, but she just moved to a new state. And because she's brand new in a state, she's been extremely discouraged from cold calling and doing what she needs to do to draw up business. By the way, of course she was hesitant of working if she believes she can't create that outcome. And after like a month of like hesitation and resistance and like talking herself out of cold calling, after a 15 minute session for me to remove the belief of, I'm not capable of achieving this outcome. After 15 minutes of removing that belief, that next day she set two listing appointments and then the day after got the listing agreement signed. Your unconscious beliefs completely dictate and control the behaviors and actions that you take. And for as long as you have these beliefs of, I'm afraid of failure, I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of embarrassment, judgment, success, I don't think I can do it, I'm not worthy of it, I'm not deserving of it, money's hard to make. As long as you have these beliefs, you cannot achieve your desired outcome. You'll always talk yourself out of it. You're going to self-sabotage. You're going to do stuff that where you, you fulfill that belief. You will create and manifest that reality that you believe in. Imagine for a second that you believed you could do it. You had no fear of success. You believed success was imminent. You believe that there is nothing to fear. You believe that you're 100% capable, 100% good enough. You're actually deserving of it. You're worthy of it. In fact, it's basically already happened. You just didn't do it yet. If you had all those beliefs, how would that change your life? How would that change your business? How would that change your behaviors when it came to cold calling? How would it change your behaviors when you talk to your clients? How would it change your behaviors when you knew you were calling a $2 million listing? How would it change your life if you were like, you know what, it's time to start a team, I know I can do it. How would it change your life? How would it change your money? How would it change your freedom? How would it change all the factors in your life. My life has changed because of it. My agent's life has changed because of it. And recently I've decided to open this opportunity up for you guys. January 10th to the 12th, 
I'm hosting a Limit Breaker Retreat. It's an intensive three days where you're going to be learning exactly how to remove a limiting belief. On the 10th, 11th, and 12th of January, we're all gonna be staying at an Airbnb and I'm gonna be teaching you exactly how to do it step by step. During the retreat, I'm gonna help you elicit the limiting beliefs that you can surface up onto a piece of paper and we're just gonna knock them all out during the three days so that by the end of the retreat, you have a different set of beliefs empowering beliefs that may actually make you look forward to cold calling, that has you taking bigger risks because you believe you're capable of it, that allows you to step into what you once feared because you no longer fear that a failure is an outcome. This is literally what's going to help you make next level money because this is exactly what did it for me. So if you're interested in doing this, I've got a Calendly link down below where you can schedule a time to talk with me to see whether or not this would be a good fit. Okay, right now I have to go on a listing appointment. When it's time for a listing presentation, I just hop into my office closet and pop out one of these. You always wanna make sure you have a pen and a listing agreement present so that you can close them on the spot. And if you don't have uh, an agreement present, then you need to pop up um, whatever DocuSign type of application you have so that you could send them the agree agreement virtually so that they could sign virtually right in front of you. Because guys, like if you're not going there to close, then what's the point? They're always gonna say, I gotta think about it or whatever. Like they're, they've always gotta think about it. So you need to like help them dig out like what is it exactly that you need to think about and help them overcome whatever or reframe whatever that's in their heads that's stopping them from making a decision now. Because at the end of the day, if they need to sell, they need to sell. Like, what do you need to think about? You need to go think about interviewing other agents? That's not a good idea, dude, I'm the best. I've made it to, oh man, look how nice that looks. I made it to my listing appointment. Um, I've actually sold a home in, in that building over there. So I'm familiar with this condominium. Let's see what happens. When the seller and I spoke on the phone, I. I don't know if anything's possible for her right now. I don't know if it does make sense for her to sell. All right, just got done with the meeting. Oh my goodness. When am I gonna start getting bored of this car? All right, just wrapped up the meeting with the seller. It went really well. She's having a little bit of indecisiveness on whether she wants to move or stay. And, and at the end of the day, she wanted me to make that decision, but I can't make someone move and I will never make someone move. My goal is really just to like facilitate what option will give you the most happiness and fulfillment. Is it to stay or is it to go? Let's make a pros and cons list. Let's talk about like, what is even driving you to do this? Like what, for what purpose do you wanna move? For what purpose do you wanna be over there? And for what purpose do you wanna get out of here? The client says to me like, I understand you wanna make a commission. Yeah, of course I do, but the commission doesn't matter if the client's unhappy. My goal is to make them love me because I did such a great job at making their transition come true for whatever outcome that they desired. If the seller does decide to do anything, um, I think something can happen this month. I haven't been able to vlog because immediately after that last clip, I had to hop on another coaching call to learn how to take the accelerator to 100K a month. So let me take a minute to talk about like buying knowledge because I talk about buying knowledge, but I want to I want to share with you guys like how much I really spend on buying knowledge. So earlier this morning, I had a coaching call with one of my coaches and I, I paid about $10,000 for 12 sessions with him. When I say that that coaching has changed my life, it has completely changed my life. It's the reason why I'm doing Limit Breaker. I paid 10,000 for that. I paid another $10,000 earlier this year to learn NLP at the master practitioner level. And that actually helped me remove some crazy limiting beliefs that I didn't know I had, which at the end of the day allowed me to take bigger risks. I paid another 10 grand um, earlier, like mid this year to learn how to take my coaching business to 50K a month. My business partner and I recently paid another 17 grand to learn how to take our coaching business to 100K a month. And those are just a few of the coaching programs that I signed up for this year, but I buy a lot of knowledge. And the reason I do is because I understand how far working with masters at their craft can take me. It's the whole reason my life has completely changed. I used to be like depressed, broke. I had to calculate the cost of an egg to like live and survive. My life was very, very different. Like I grew up poor as fuck. So if you wanna stop being broke, you have to learn from people that 
are doing what you want to do or has the knowledge that you need. If you made it to the end of this video and you're interested in attending the Limit Breaker Retreat, again, it's January 10th to the 12th. It's gonna be in Seattle. If you're interested in learning more about it, just schedule a call in the link down below. If you made it to this point, I wanna know exactly who you are because you're my favorite person in the world. So if you made it to this point, say, I'll be attending the Limit Breaker and I'll know who made it to this point. I appreciate y'all for watching. I've, I've really been enjoying um, making these and like seeing the feedback and responses in the comments. There's two things that reward me for making these. It's the view count and the comments. Like I love when you say the phrase at the end or like your thoughts on the video when you share like what your thoughts are and I, I love reading the comments. So comment it up.